hey guys thank you all for stopping by currently i'm in london i travel to london from nottingham and my first stay is in an airbnb it's a very nice one bedroom airbnb it's very comfortable everything here is just sparkling i really love it but currently i want to move to a dormitory in london airbnb is obviously expensive so that's the main reason why i'll be moving to a dormitory to see what it's like and also to experience it yeah so i'll take you guys along with me i'm at the dormitory that's the entrance right here i'm about checking in so check-in is around three and this is almost three o'clock come along with me as i go check in all right let's see what dormitories are like here in london I've gotten my key so let's go see what the apartments or the dormitory looks like well this is the entrance and see the restroom here this is what it looks like it's really nice the shower is not in it's not in order so I'll have to use the one downstairs let's go downstairs so i'll show you so here is the shower this room is housing about six people and my bed is bed number one and so far i think everything is so nice even though i think the bed is too small but i think i'm used to not that i'm used to it i've experienced living in a place like this during my nysc so it was quite an experience and i think it's nice so here are the storage spaces this one here is mine it's a dormitory for just girls they have the guys section so here i have my pillow the pillow is nice and it's so comfortable it has a sheet over it though i have my own sheets i came with my bed sheets there is a duvet yeah the foam okay i think it's fair enough i do not have to use my own sheets because why mess it up when there is one here but i would say i'm pleased with it like I believe it will be worth the experience so guys let's see how i navigate my stay here in the dormitory all right so i just finished freshening up so i want to take you guys downstairs to see the reception area more like a common area then from there we'll get to the kitchen and i forgot to show you guys this area has a charger a charging port it has a charging port as well as a light you could turn it on or turn it off and i find it so helpful while charging you could place your phone here so it's really nice It's no longer news that cost of living is getting higher by the day and sometimes people find it difficult sending and requesting money from their friends and loved ones abroad so you don't have to worry because i'm here to introduce paysend to you with paysend you can send and request money from your loved ones 
all over the world. Paysend is functional in over 100 countries and you can send it directly to the person's bank account and they will get it in a matter of seconds. Paysend is available on iOS and Android app stores so make sure you download it and use my code on the screen to get free charge on your first rate transaction. So guys, we are going down to the kitchen right now. Let's see what the kitchen looks like. Okay, so the dream kitchen. You give out to yourself. It has a fridge where you can store your belongings. It has that's it. So this kitchen is really nice, really I'm amazed, I'm amazed, I've been in dormitories back then when I was in Nigeria during my youth service call, I was in a dormitory or more like a hostel, I think it's not as good as this one, well you can't compare, you can't compare. So the kitchen has a lot, you have oven, you have microwave, a toaster, so many things. If you have your personal items, you could just put it in the fridge and all of that. I saw some edibles here. I thought it was for everyone, but I asked. They said that one is for personal use, that it belongs to people. You just keep it here instead of keeping it in the hostel. This particular hostel costs £45. Check-in time is around 3, check-out time is 10, then if you want to extend it, also you pay £2 extra, I guess. I don't really know much about it, but that's what I paid. And I really do not know whether it's worth it, but I'm just comfortable being here. I love everything. Everything seems neat. Everywhere is sparkling and all of that. So guys, I really like it and I'm enjoying my stay here, of course. Yeah, enjoying my stay here. So let's get back to the dormitory or the hostel. I really want to rest. I've, I've had a long day. But I can do with water right now. I want to drink water. So guys, that's it for now. What do you think? Do you think this apartment is worth it or this hostel it's worth the price? In the Airbnb where I was cost around 80 something pounds. I'll put the actual price, everything on the screen. I can't remember the exact price, but I know it was somewhat around 80, 90 something pounds. Yeah. So guys, that's it. I'll get to see you all when I get to the room.
so guys it's actually very comfortable here the heater is on and currently i'm about retiring to bed i appreciate this experience i didn't know something like this would be in this country and i'm glad i've seen the other side to this place so would you like to come to a place like this let me know even if you have the money to pay for airbnb you could as well witness what this place has to offer just experience it i really appreciate it i don't regret it one bit i've checked out from the hostel and i must tell you guys that my experience here was really nice i don't take it for granted i didn't know something like this would be in this city and i'm glad i experienced it i would rate it eight nine ten just because of the experience and i just like everything about it yeah my roommates were okay we were all minding our business everywhere was quiet the room was warm enough because it's winter here and so what do you think would you rather stay in an airbnb a hotel or a dormitory i would like to hear from you guys i will see you all in my next video bye